Good morning, guys. It is late November 2021. I'm back at the Capilano River this morning. You can see behind me the little falls by the hatchery. Not much water coming down. The river's very low. It's been dropping for about five or six days straight since uh, we had all that rain and that huge storm that caused all that flooding and those destroyed highways that are gonna take forever to fix. For what I wanna do today, I actually don't mind because I don't really have the gear to fish in the fast water. I don't have the sinking line. I don't have the sink tip. You guys just wanna take a second? Pan this beautiful area. It's pretty sick here. I love coming here. Oh, this might be tough fishing, guys. Okay, yeah, I can fish that run, but you can see the water's really murky, guys, so. There's a nice uh, nice rope here to help folks like me, the old, old folks, get down. Okay, Whew. we've done it, and now our feet are wet. But we have much better, much better casting here. So this pool in front of me is probably 10 plus feet deep. Might be more like 12 or 15 right now. In summer, it was very deep, so. so. If there's any salmon in here, they could be in that slow water dead ahead. They could be all around the outside bank or in particular, right here. And if there are trout in here, they're probably at the front of the run or they're right before that waterfall in behind the salmon. So there's a couple areas we're gonna have to try to target today. All right, guys, this is a beautiful uh, minnow tied jig style with some nice eyes. I never appreciated how pretty that pink uh, hot spot is on it. And it's got kind of a dark profile. It'll sit in the water like this. That's from trout flies in Utah. Sick flies, go check them out. The water in this river is still, still slowly recovering from that huge rainstorm. You can see it in the color. I'm actually really surprised at the color of this, but I guess it's still all running down slowly from the mountains, picking up dirt on the way. So guys, I want to address something. I know how much it sucks clicking on a YouTube video where you expect to see fish caught and then nothing happens. I get that, man. It's been a long streak of not catching fish for me and a failed salmon fishing season. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm still enthusiastic. I still love fishing every time I'm out, but you know, it's, uh, it just sucks. It sucks for me not catching fish. And it sucks for you guys not being able to see any fish caught by me. I still love being out here. I still love interacting with you guys in the comments. 
I also want to shout out everyone who's been super supportive and leaving me comments on these videos and telling me, oh, I'll get them next time and keep it up. You're still learning. You know, I just really appreciate all your guys' support. It means the world to me. Like, after I put out a video or, or I have a fishing day, probably like today, where I get skunked, um, I usually go home and I'm just like in kind of a, a sad mood. And then I'm usually better by the next day. But when I wake up and I see supportive comments from you guys, it, it really means the world to me. It makes me feel much better. So thanks for that, guys. Let's change out this bad boy. Look how good that looks. So that looks exactly like a fish. That's not a bad roll cast. Now for you local guys who might watch my channel, I'm curious, um, at the mouth of the Capilano River by Ambleside Beach, is there any beach fishing through all of winter and spring? Like, is there any purpose of going out and beach fishing? It doesn't have to be salmon or steelhead. I'm just like, are there any fish there that you can catch? I'm just, I just want to know. I want to know what kind of fishing I can do in the winter besides like, looking for the odd steelhead here and there. Hello. Hey, how Good, how are you? Surprised someone else is uh, maybe stubborn enough to come out with the water like this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? They're, they're oh, good for them. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do in like winter. like. It's good here? Oh, yeah. oh. I didn't know there was many steelhead around. Yeah, I mean, they usually come, uh, they're after Christmas. Yeah. January, January, February, March is Okay. I found a lot of chum this year. It's Spanish. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I heard good things. Kind yeah, of mid season. Yeah, I want to head up that way again soon. Yeah. Um, just because at least I can fish for bull trout through the winter yeah, right. and other stuff. Cool, yeah. But like with the big flood, I'm kind of suspicious of the highways. Yeah, like, that's why I was thinking about going up there. Yeah. Like you, you never really know, you never really know what kind of damage might have been done. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to go up there again. flies, jig scubzilla, round three. <laughs> see if we see if we can catch a little salmon. Got some more people. Uh, I haven't caught anything. Oh. Oh. Hi. <laughs> That's cool. So you know I don't catch fish. Yeah, it's pretty dark. Good luck fishing, guys. <laughs> there won't be any fish in it. <laughs> no. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Take care. So beautiful.
just so pretty. I love it. So who I'm not I didn't get the name of those uh I think father and son I just met, but thanks for watching my videos guys. That's cool. Cool to meet you. And I hope you guys got into some salmon that day. Let me know in the comments if you did. Man, it's been a tough couple months for me. Definitely, definitely my longest uh, streak of no fish uh, in my life. Not that I've been doing this for a long time, but I don't know, man. I just feel bad. I I'm sorry, guys. I suck at fishing, and uh, I still love every second out here. Like, look at this place, but ah, I just, I just want to show you guys a freaking fish and like prove to myself that I'm not complete garbage, but I don't know. Maybe that's the take home message. Maybe I am. Anyway, uh, I did get some information from those guys that um, people up at the cable pool got a couple fish this morning, so they're still catchable. And it's like November 21st, so they're still catchable, even though like the big runs are done. So, yeah, I don't know. Keep fishing, guys. Lots of people showed up to fish. Late November, people are still fishing. And some lucky people are still catching. All right, guys. We got 15 minutes to throw down off this rock. What the hell, why not? Boy. Oh guys, you ready for Christmas? Are you excited for Christmas? I am, I love Christmas. Pretty much since Halloween, the wife and I have been listening to Christmas music at home. I love Christmas. Not because of gifts and all that stuff, I just, I like the vibe. We have a fish. No joke. I have a fish. You recording? Guys, we have a fish. Oh, I think I tail hooked him. I think I tail hooked this fish, guys. I'm gonna try to get up and around this rock. Pretty sure I tail hooked this fish, guys. Tail or fin hooked. Ugh. Oh, that sucks. I'm not really sure what to do with all my line right now.
No, I got him in the mouth. I'm getting soaked right now and I do not care. Guys, guys, it's, it's happened, it's happened. Woo! I got a salmon. Okay, this is not a great position for me. Um, I'm on a freaking little sandbank right beside the cable. Cool, about to fall in. I do not know what kind of fish this is. Let's go in the mouth. Jig Sculpzilla, guys. Trout flies in Utah. Also salmon flies. No way. No way. No way. Come on. Right in the mouth, guys. Look at that. Barbless hook. Came right out, jig sculptzilla, trout flies in Utah. No adipose fin guys, that's a that's a hatchery fish. I could keep this fish if I wanted to, but I do not. Alright guys, should we release this fish? Let's get a release. There he goes, guys. <sighs> Woo! I wish I got a better release on him for the thumbnail, but you know what? I don't think it matters. Thank God I put my keys in a frickin' Ziploc today. Holy cow. Okay. This water right here has been flooding over my back and my ass for five minutes. I just want to enjoy this moment. <laughs> Did not get a good thumbnail release shot at all. That's okay. That's okay. I'm shaking. I gotta go home, but pretty good freaking way to end this end the end the end the end, the, end the session. Oh my goodness. I I'm standing on like the skinniest piece of sand right here and it's like 10, 10 feet deep right in front of me. I gotta get I gotta get the heck out of here. I gotta climb back up this thing. I slid down on my ass, so let's get it safely, guys. I gotta turn you off.